Huh? This is... Traverse Town. Hey, what's with my clothes? Must be more of Master Yen Sid's magic. What happened to Riku? Riku! Hello? Riku! Shut it. Huh? Talk about noise. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Sora, right? Yeah, but uh, how do you know that? Looks like you're not a player. A player? Come on, keep up. In the game. Players get marked with the time limit. And this game, I can't afford to lose. I need my game partner. Okay. I don't know about any game, but can I help? What? Time out. Do you trust every total stranger you meet? Look, sorry. You're no good. You're not a player. And my pack's with someone else. Okay, so we can't be partners. Why don't I just help you out as your friend? Now we're friends? It's not that easy. Not saying it is, but you could make it easier. Yeah, sounds great. Whatever. Cool. Lead the way. Whoa. Hey, I didn't catch your name. Dream Eaters. That's a weird name. Not me, them. Right, I knew that. Don't let them surround us. Let's split up. Got it. Oh, uh, it's Neko. Huh? Neku Sakuraba, you asked. Neku Sakuraba. That's a mouthful. No, it's really not. <laughs> Come on, Neku. Let's take him. <laughs> These things with you, they're dream eaters too? Yeah. If I'm gonna survive the game, I'm gonna need some extra help. Think you could control them? Sure. I guess. I brought you Sora. We had a bargain. What's the matter, Neku? No way! Hey! That wasn't the deal! You said you wouldn't hurt him! Don't! Neku! Ah. They're too dangerous! What? Why am I so sleeping? Before I fell asleep, Neku said that he and that creep in the coat had a deal. But what was the deal? Are the two of them in league? That can't be right. We never even found Neku's partner. I guess I should just take a look around. Wow! Never been this way before! Ooh, what's that? <laughs> hey, um, 
Any chance you're Neku's partner? Huh? Um, I'm not really sure. All I know is that my name is Rhyme. You mean, you've lost your memory? Yep. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's no big deal. You know what they always say. Sometimes memories just need a little help getting out. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Huh, a little help. I know. Maybe Neku can jog your memory. Come on, Ryan. Let's go find him. Right. Hey, Neku, it's you! Sora... What? You actually still trust me? Of course I do! But you know that I tricked you, right? That guy in the black coat? He said he could send me home. Me and my partner. But I had to bring you to him first. Sorry. No big deal. When it really mattered, you stood up for me. And besides, we're friends, right? Friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Neku. This here is Rhyme. Is she your game partner? No. Sorry. I'm teamed up with somebody else. Huh? What? Rhyme! Huh? Hey, wait! Out of my way! Riku! Huh? Hold on, Sora. Huh? Joshua. Hello, Neku. How long the days without you have felt. Rhyme! I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> Neku, do you know this guy? Yeah. Joshua. He's my... friend. Okay. Are you the one who took Rhyme away? And why do you know my name? If you'd like to settle down for a sec, I'll field your questions one at a time. Let's start with Rhyme. I'm hanging on to her dreams for her. They're my portal. Huh? Let's just say her dreams are a gateway between worlds. Oh. <laughs> Next question. How could I possibly know your name, right? This town has a little secret. It only appears when someone out there has need of shelter. I'll spare you the details, but right now it's made up of my dreams. So of course I know you. I dreamed you up. I know your best friend Riku, too. Really? You know Riku? Well, yeah. I'm kind of omniscient. Then where is he? He's right inside this projection. In another imagining of this world. You mean... another Traverse Town? Can I get there with your portal thing? Sad to say, it won't work for you. My portal thing only opens for the one with Rhyme's dreams. In this projection, you're seeing another chain of events, in another world trapped by the Dream Eaters. As for how the world got split in two, I have a feeling you'll need to ask this guy. 
Him again. Huh? Who's that? Beat. Shiki. Riku. In their world, something happened that brought their existence to an end. To keep them from fading altogether, I gathered up the very last remnants of their dreams and looked for a place to give them refuge. It was then this world appeared to answer my call, and Rhyme's dreams allowed us to reach it. Here, I thought they might have a chance that the pieces of their dreams could make them whole again. Imagine my surprise when I realized dreams take bodily form in this world. It struck me, by linking their dream pieces back together, maybe I could make them exist again. Maybe I could give them another chance. It can't be that simple. <laughs> well, why can't it? By ourselves, we're no one. It's when other people look at us and see someone, that's the moment we each start to exist. All they needed was for someone to see them, connect with them. And the two of you were a big part of making it happen. Joshua, just who are you? <laughs> Let's say, a friend. One dream is connected to another, which means we must choose in which sleeping world you will begin. I will return you to the Destiny Islands just before they were swallowed by the darkness and plunged into sleep. Once dreams take you, you must let them guide you to the sleeping worlds. As there are seven pure lights, there are seven sleeping keyholes. Unlocking these will both grant you new powers and free the worlds from their wakelessness. Complete this task and return here safely, and I will name you both True Masters. Stop. What? Uh, who? Me? I've never seen you before. Your name? I'm Sora. Such disgusting attire. I know what you are. Judge Frollo! Sir! What is the matter, Captain Phoebus? Can't you see? I am interrogating this gypsy. 
This kid here? But, sir, he's just a boy. I shall be the judge of that. Now, Captain, did you have something to report to me, or did you not? Yes, sir. Monsters. They've invaded the square. Monsters? I'll take care of it. <laughs> hey, wait! It's not safe! This city is overrun. For decades, I've worked to purge the city of those wretched gypsies. And now the streets teem with even more disgusting vermin that threaten law and order. I knew it was Dream Eaters! What are you doing? You need to run! Oh no, I couldn't! Today's the festival, and look! I'm the King of Fools! Ah. Huh? Quasimodo! <gasps> it's my master. Please stop. Why doesn't anything ever go the way I want it to? Get to safety. Let me help. Huh? Who are you? Esmeralda. I'm a gypsy. Thank you. I'm Sora. Huh? Huh. Hmm. Gypsy witch. Okay. Now you've got my attention. I wonder if that guy is all right. Quasi... what was it? This is Big Marie. Hello! She likes you. <laughs> Looks like Quasi's gonna be just fine. Indisputably. He's tough! We may be hard as stone, but Quasi's stronger. I know. Whoa! Talking gargoyles! Excuse us for having personality. Hmm? You could stay here forever. No, I couldn't. Oh, yes. You have sanctuary. But not freedom. Gypsies don't do well inside stone walls. You helped me. Now, I will help you. But there's no way out. There's soldiers at every door. We won't use a door. It's all right. Huh? Are you ready? Huh? Didn't expect that. So how come you and Quasimodo are so close? We've been friends for years. More than a decade of camaraderie. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He never leaves? Oh, he's not allowed to leave. Judge Frollo forbids it. Why? Care to pull up a stool? The short version is, Frollo thinks he's doing Quasi a favor by keeping folks from seeing that mug of his. After a lifetime of watching from the nosebleed seats, Quasi just wanted to go to the Feast of Fools. And we're so proud of him for finally working up the courage to do it. Tis a shame those creatures dashed his hopes. You should talk. When's the last time you looked in a mirror? Well, you broke it. Ah, a wise guy, eh? Knock it off, you couple of blockheads! I just hope this one failure doesn't cause Quasi to give up. He was so close. He can't let his heart be a prison. Don't worry. I'll go talk to him. <laughs> oh. Huh? Hello again. Sora, was it? Hold it. You're that guy with Frollo. Easy. I'm not looking for any sort of fight. Well, well... Finally someone sensible. 
I'm Phoebus. Tell me, is she still safe in the cathedral? If she is Esmeralda, then Quasimodo helped her escape. Last. What's wrong? It's Judge Frollo. He's obsessed with destroying the gypsies, and his mind is in a dark place. When I objected to his barbarous actions, he banished me from the guard. What? That's not fair. Don't worry about me. Frollo said he's found the Court of Miracles, the gypsy's haven within the city. Esmeralda and her friends are in danger. Huh? We have to find them and warn them before Frollo gets there. Huh? Quasimodo! Esmeralda's in trouble! Where did she go? I don't know. She... she vanished into the streets. She gave me this pendant. Esmeralda oh. said this would help us find her. When you wear this woven band, you hold the city in your hand. <gasps> it's the city! It's a map, see? Here's the cathedral and the river. Go this way, cross the bridge, and... The Court of Miracles! Well done, Quasimodo! Yeah, Quasi, nice! Yes. I'm going to save her. Quasimodo? What are you doing here? Phoebus and I came to warn you. Frollo's on his way. Take what you can and flee. Well <laughs> done, Captain Phoebus. Thankfully, you are every bit as predictable as I had hoped. Dear Quasimodo, I always knew you would someday be of use to me. I have you at last, you witch. There'll be a bonfire in the square. No! Please, Master! Huh. Frollo! I won't let you do this! No! Quasimodo? Esmeralda! Phoebus! He's taking her to a bonfire in the square. I gotta hurry! Esmeralda! Quasi! I should have known you'd risk your life to save that gypsy witch. Just as your own mother died in her pitiful attempt to save you. What? Now, I'm going to do what I should have done 20 years ago! Hold on! Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> and he shall smite the wicked and plunge them into the fiery pit forever!
Quasimodo, you can't let your heart be... I know. I can't blame Frollo for putting walls around me. It wasn't the walls that were holding me back. Hmm. But my heart is free now. I'm ready to really see what's out there. All that time, Quasimodo let himself be trapped inside the nightmares Frollo gave him. Hypocrite. You are the one who has made your heart a prison. You again! What are you talking about? Even if you are not the prisoner. Huh? My heart's a prison? Hey, Axel. You haven't forgotten. Hmm? What? You made us a promise. I did? That you'd always be there. To bring us back. Yeah. Got it memorized? <laughs> Best friends forever. Where? What happened to me? Roxas. That's me. Dylan. Alias. Heaven. Yenzo. <sighs> We're people again. But only the ones who joined the organization here. I guess Xehanort doesn't count. But where are Break and... Isa? Pinocchio. He must have his poor father worried sick. Hmm. Still, that little fella's some miracle. Imagine, Mr. Geppetto's wooden puppet, brought to life by the Blue Fairy. She made his wish for a son come true because he's given so much happiness to others. Now Pinocchio needs me to guide him and be his conscience. So maybe, one day, he can be a real... <laughs> well, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Jiminy. First, you gotta go find Pinocchio. Huh? Hey, Jiminy, what's up? Hmm? Who are you? You shouldn't be here, young man. What? Are you okay, Jiminy? Huh? You mean you've heard of me? <laughs> well, I'll be. The name Jiminy Cricket's already spread far and wide. Really? You feeling all right? It's me, Sora. Sora, you say? Hmm. 
gosh, I don't think I recognize you, but the name does have a familiar ring. Um... Oh, yeah! The real Jiminy Cricket wasn't trapped in this world, so maybe it's like the dream world's putting him back where he belongs. What's that? I can't hear you. Right. It's very nice to meet you, Jiminy. Well, sure. <laughs> the feeling's mutual, Sora. Oh, yeah. So, how come you said I need to get out of here? <laughs> you can't fool me. You still think we know each other. And you've just about got me thinking it, too. Hmm. But where was I? Oh, yes. This is a terrible place. Boys here are allowed to wreck things and loaf around and make jack a mules of themselves. And poor lost Pinocchio. He wandered in here on my watch. <gasps> That's right. That's where I must have heard your name, Sora. From my friend Pinocchio. He knows me? But how? That guy again. Forget him. If I don't find Pinocchio, he'll turn into a donkey like the rest of the boys. Right. Then let me help you find him, Jiminy. Really? I'd be grateful. But how in the world do you know Pinocchio? Oh, uh, um... Hey! Over there! I see him! Gosh! That is Pinocchio! All aboard, Jiminy. <laughs> Take it away! Pinocchio! There you are! Pinocchio, it's not safe for you here. Listen to Jiminy and go back to- Oh, what? hi! Dream Eaters! <sighs> Only one way to solve this problem. Those Dream Eaters were pretending to be Pinocchio. So, then where's the real Pinocchio? Sora! Up there! Huh? Look at the top of that tower! You're right! Come on, Jiminy! Gee, Pinocchio, how'd you manage to get up here? Come on, let's go home. Ah. Another imposter. Hmm. There! See him walking? Well, sure, if that's really him. Don't give up, Jiminy. Come on, let's go! Pinocchio! Jiminy! Help me, Jiminy! Oh, my stars above! We've got to do something! Okay, I got it covered. <laughs> oh, Pinocchio! Look at you! I think for now, you two better get out of here. You again? Zemnis? This isn't possible. My, my. A hollow puppet that's managed to grow a heart. Just imagine that. Pinocchio isn't anything like you nobodies. But if Pinocchio could be given one, shouldn't you be able to have a heart inside you too? <laughs> Maybe so. However, do not forget that you yourself are not so very different from us. How am I anything like a nobody? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I hope they got home safe. Hmm? Ah! You must be Sora. Oh, yes, ma'am. 
And you must be the Blue Fairy. That's right. And I'm afraid that I have grave news. Good Geppetto went off to look for Pinocchio, and he was swallowed by a whale named Monstro. What? Have you told Pinocchio and Jiminy about it yet? Yes. And when I told them Geppetto was still alive inside the whale and at the bottom of the sea, those two little ones ran off at once. They're very determined to save him. But that's crazy. I've got to find them. Claw my way past, then rescue my friends. I get it now. After this, Pinocchio and Jiminy's world gets dragged into darkness. And they end up cast into the sea between worlds, along with Monstro. And then, they end up in Traverse Town and the belly of the whale. That's when we meet for real. It's like Master Yen Sid said. I'm in the dream, Pinocchio's world is dreaming. And that world will never be right again until it wakes from sleep. Turn this castle upside down. Hey, are the other two still out cold? Dylan and Evan are conscious again, but still unstable. They're resting inside. Gotcha. Well, I guess I'll give the castle grounds a sweep. Don't. If they were back, we would have found them by now. Hmm. So do you think they were blasted off to some other world, or what? I highly doubt it. When someone who's lost their heart is recompleted, they should return to the place where it happened. And if that world is unavailable for whatever reason, a refuge is made for them in the realm between, a world called Traverse Town. 
they would be sent there. Or perhaps... No, look. Okay. The fact is, we're here. We've been recompleted, right? So they should be here too. Plain and simple. I agree, it is strange. <sighs> what a drag. Could they not have been recompleted at all? Well, you see... Uh... That, forget it. You know what? I'll bring them back myself. Huh? How, exactly? Why do I always get stuck with the icky jobs?